Oh, hello there. You're watching Zulzi Draws, the channel where I draw because I feel like it. You saw the title. Today I'm having a little bit of a tea party. Let me just get some of that. You know what? Yeah, that's, that's better. All right, so it's a hot chocolate party for me, but it might be tea time for you, so grab yourself a drink and watch me draw Bibsy's Tea Party. Bibsy's Tea Party was a commission that I just finished up a couple weeks ago. And normally I haven't really been in the commission mood, but when this client came to me asking me to draw mermaids, I couldn't resist. Her instructions were clear. Draw two mermaids having a tea party with an octopus in the center and have that octopus wearing a top hat. Check, check, check. That's all the things I like to do, basically. I never did end up naming the mermaids, but it's very important that you know that I named the octopus Bibsy. I don't know why, but I thought the name was fitting. Thus, Bibsy's Tea Party. So if you're ready to see me do a speed draw of this, grab yourself a cup of tea as well, or hot chocolate, and enjoy the video. Cheers. All right, I suppose we should just get into it, shall we? I just realized I can't use this mug because it's gonna be green screened out. What does that look weird? Sorry. The first thing I'll talk about here is my sketching process. Um, I kind of learned my own drawing style from looking on Instagram at people that I, you know, look up to. And I'll take little pieces that I like about each artist that I see. So I like how this artist makes their eyes and I like how this artist makes their nose. So somewhere by replicating little pieces of each artist, I came up with something that I like to do. So that's pretty neat. So our subject today is mermaids. Um, and like I said, that is the biggest reason why I said yes to this commission. It's not like that I don't like commission work. It's not like that I don't like making money. Cause trust me, I do. It's just that sometimes after, after doing so much art for myself lately, when I have to go back to making art for somebody else, it starts to feel like a chore and it kind of sucks the creativity out of it for me. Like I, I would love to have a job where I can just draw whatever I want, whenever I want, which is kind of why I started making this YouTube channel. Uh, you can see here, I love to sketch off with pencil and then immediately go in with micron liners to line the piece, of course. I usually have a good idea of what color I want to use before I even get started. You can kind of tell that I'm planning that out by which markers, by which microns I'm lining it with, excuse me. If you go onto my Instagram page at Jordan Z Gallery, which is where I post most of my finished drawings anyway, you will see that I have a knack for mermaids. Not only a knack, but like a a passion for drawing mermaids and I don't know what it is like when I was a kid I was always drawing pretty girls I don't know if it's just because I don't like drawing feet or you know what no, no. I love the fantasy aspect of mermaids anyone can look at a picture of a girl or a or a guy or a human and that's that but there's so much more that you can do with mermaids like you get to pick out what kind of fishtail to use you get to pick out like what colors like and you can do something super vibrant but it makes sense because it's a mermaid or you could do something completely dark and it makes sense because it's a mermaid i literally remember being in my mom's office like as a kid on take your child to work day or whatever and i would love to go to the printer room because that's where they have all the colorful paper and i would go there and i pick out all the colorful paper and I would literally draw things like mermaids all the time, so. I started young. It's totally rude that I didn't tell you what art materials I'm using, so let me say that now. Today I am using, first of all, my favorite markers in the world. I got a thousand of them. These are my Prismacolor brush tip dual markers. One end has the fine tip and one end has the brush tip. So I love them, they blend really well. I think they're cheaper than Copics, and I think you don't see the bleed as much as with Copics, as you might with Copics. The downside to it is that you don't have the refills like Copic markers do. Is it Copic or Copic, by the way? Copic. I don't care. So if, if you run out of one marker, which sometimes I do, you gotta buy a whole new marker, so. Trade-offs. I'm also using this on a 11 by 14 Strathmore Bristol paper. I like it because it's not super absorbent. I love how thick it is. Like, I don't like when markers bleed through, especially when I'm using alcohol-based markers like that. But yeah, this is, um, you can kind of tell by the size of my hands in comparison. It's a little bit, it's larger than a, than a piece of printer paper. Let me take a second to actually talk about the subject of this drawing, which is Bibsy the Octopus. I love that name. 
and the two mermaids sitting beside him. Now, I don't know what made me go with this, but I wanted one of the mermaids, the one that you see on the left, to look like very youthful, like she's having a lot of fun. And it's not that the other one isn't having fun, but I feel like maybe the other one's a little bit older, like an older sister, just something to give him a little bit of a uh, character development, a uh, contrast in character, I guess. Maybe these two are sisters, I don't know. But the one on the left has her hair down a little bit more youthful-like, and the one on the right is decked out in pearls. So she's a little bit older, and you can tell by her pose, she's like, Oh, stop it! Go on! Oh. <laughs> I don't know why it sounded like that. And the other one's just like, heck yeah, like, pour me some more tea, cheers! Bibsy, um, is a gentleman, so he does have his tentacles wrapped around the ladies, but he's polite about it. I just spilled this on- well, it's a good thing I'm not wearing pants. Anyway, um, yes, Bibsy believes in consent. These ladies are just eating him up. They're having a good old time, they've got a piece of coffee cake on the center of the table. Talking about their fashion choice for a second, I was looking up tea party attire on Google just to get some inspiration, and while they're mermaids and sea, sea creatures and humans are probably going to wear something different as far as clothing goes, I did find inspiration in the many big fascinators that a lady might wear on her head at a tea party. A lot of these are going to be big and vibrant and pompous or whatever. And I just, I took that idea, but I put a lily pad on top of the mermaid on the left's head. I thought that would be fun, why not? Um, I did dress them in this yellowish gold. I figured that made them look a little bit more elegant. And then I did want to put that same yellow gold color in their eyes. At the end of the day, this is a very vibrant drawing, I'm aware. But just by limiting the color palette, I didn't want to have to think about yet another color to put in their eyes, so I just figured like it kind of went with their outfits, everything goes when you match it exactly. Yes, going back to my love of mermaids, I also love visiting the beach, and that's like the perfect place to go if you want to see mermaid art everywhere. Almost every year lately, my cousins Luke and Aaron, shout out to Luke and Aaron, and I go to the Outer Banks, North Carolina for just a little vacation, maybe a few days, maybe a full week. And I am a lover of the beach, and I know how cliche that is, but you're not going to take that away from me. So I really relate to my cousins in that they also love the nautical themes and mermaids. Shout out to Aaron. I wonder if that's why I work at Starbucks? I think the siren called to me, and maybe that's why I, I applied to work there, and I've been there for seven years, oops. Circling back, because I know I'm all over the place. If you check out that little stuffed seahorse that the mermaid on the left has under her arm, I also did that not only because I wanted to fill the space on the left side of the table and make it more interesting, but I feel like that kind of helped her character. It does kind of bring her, bring even more youth to her, separating her from the a little bit older, more mature, fancier sister. I guess they're sisters now. It's, it's part of the lore. We just decided it now. I just wanted to give her something cute to hold on to, um, and also like, whenever you think about like a child having a play pretend tea party, they usually do have stuffed animals surrounding themselves, kind of as part of the atmosphere, so you can't have a tea party with just three people. Actually, you absolutely can. But I thought that kind of made the piece more unique, more interesting, it kind of gave them some character. You guys probably saw earlier, I put this down on the piece. What that does, it's a masking fluid, and if I put it in certain areas, let it completely dry, and then go over the piece and color it in, at the end, I can rub that stuff back off, and anything underneath will be completely free of that color that I wanted there. Or, somewhat free. Sometimes it bleeds under, but just a little bit. I don't always mind it, because in certain areas that looks cool, like the eyeballs, although I'm pretty sure at the end you're going to see me go over the eyeballs with some gel pens and Posca pens anyway, just for that light reflection. It really does bring things to life a little bit more, I think. I finished my hot chocolate super early into this video, but that's what I get for using such a small cup. It was in my Yoshi cup, but I couldn't show that on the green screen because it'll, it'll get hidden behind there. By the way, I got that Yoshi cup from Target, go figure. 
and I love Yoshi. I love a lot of Nintendo games. I have been playing Mario Kart with Danny for like literally every single time he comes lately. For uh, weeks on end, we play at least 30, 40 minutes of Mario Kart. I love the balloon battles. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Speaking of Nintendo games, I have not started playing Animal Crossing yet, and I do plan to, but I haven't started yet because I have an idea for a video that I want to show you guys me playing, and I don't want to get too much into it because spoilers. I will play Animal Crossing at some point. I will do a drawing based off of Animal Crossing. If you would like that, please comment below. Yes, I want to see that! And if you have suggestions relating to that or any other drawing ideas, I'd love to hear those too, so thank you for that. The amount of video ideas that I have is unending, and it's such a shame because I run out of time all the time. If I were making these videos full time and I got paid a lot to do this, I would... I, I don't think I could honestly run out of ideas because every time I start to get halfway down my list, I've already written more. Um, and you guys can help with that too, so comments below, please. Thank you. Wow, I really did put this entire outfit on just for a video. <laughs> That's dedication, y'all. Um, I think I wore almost the same outfit years ago. I'm talking like baby face, Jordan, no beard. Um, I did have silver hair, if I remember correctly. There's a picture of it. I went to a wedding dressed like that, so... If you want to see more fashion like that, I, I've i been really into putting outfits together for some reason and putting that on my other Instagram, at Jordan Zulsdorf, hence Zulzi Draws, Zulsdorf, Zulzi, that's my name. I will never stop saying this. Um, reference, reference, reference. That's my Jordan tip of the day, I guess. Should I start putting like Jordan tips of the, like a Jordan's tip of the day in my videos? Would you guys be interested in that? For all of you young artists that are trying to learn things from me for some reason, um, not that I'm bad, but I don't know if I'm worthy of teaching you. Although, no, 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 I take that back. I have a lot of good ideas. With how many, with how many tips that I keep sneaking into these videos, maybe I should just start making like, like an official thing, like Jordan's tip of the day. That's a lot of butt peep, but where was I? You see how I do that to myself? Reference. I, before I did any of the sketching for this drawing, looked up a lot of different things. I looked up pirate wheel, I looked up tentacles, because tentacles are very hard to draw. Teacups, nautical teacups, I did see a nice tea set that had like that image of shells on it, and I did take inspiration from that, though I did change the cup the cup's shape just a little bit. But yeah, can you imagine that? Jordan's tip of the day. <laughs> Another thing I want to know is if you guys would be interested in buying merchandise. Designed by me, of course. I can make a whole video out of that too. The one idea is we're golden. I was thinking a little cute picture of me in front of a sun that just says we're golden. It's funny that that's the first thing I think of because the first video I made on here I said that at the end of the video without like any sort of real script. I figured if I tried to script it too much, it would just come across weird. So that's the first thing that came out of my mouth when I was trying to wrap up the video is, we're golden. We're golden. And when I was editing that video, the first video, I thought that was kind of cute. And I was like, I guess I say that, don't I? <laughs> so that's one of my first official catchphrases is, we're golden. So if you would buy like a sticker that says we're golden on that, please let me know. I think it would be very fun to design that. I'm gonna do something wild here and talk about the actual drawing that you're watching again. I really like the color scheme that I picked out for these characters. I knew I wanted Bibsy the octopus to be like this, um, it's like the same color as the octopus emoji. I think that's recognizable for some reason. I just got this ring stuck. So I figured if I made him really dark, and then made his surroundings really bright, the contrast would look really nice. So, the mermaids themselves are mostly yellow, uh, the tablecloth is blue, I'm going with a primary color scheme, I guess. Please take a second to appreciate those little dots that I put on their cheeks. I have so much fun doing that. Another thing that I love about that little seahorse is I went with like a button eye. There's like little things you can do like that to get people to understand that that is a toy or a plushie, and a button eye on a toy is just iconic. 
I'm currently thinking about Scrump, which is Lilo's doll from Lilo and Stitch, but nice. That's important to me, so even if it's not important to you, I'm not sorry for saying it. <laughs> so even though editing is a pain, I am excited to see what kind of music I go for when I uh, look up royalty-free songs to put in the background. It's probably playing right now. This is a tea party, so I'm already thinking something very fancy sounding, maybe classical. I don't know if I can do that. Speaking of royalty-free music, the amount of time that I put into editing is insane. It's enough to listen to these royalty-free songs over and over and over again, and they keep getting stuck in my head. I have songs in my head that are not real songs. They're, you don't hear them on the radio, but I've been listening to them in my head for days just because I put it in one like 15 minute video or something. It's crazy. One thing that's um, probably good for you to know just for realism's sake is you guys are watching a video in which I took several hours of drawing time, cut it up significantly, and sped it up. So even though I've only cut it down to about anywhere from like 15 to 18 minutes, what you guys are actually seeing versus how much time it took to make it is a big difference. So if you guys think that I make this look easy, thank you. But just know that if things don't come easily to you, it's natural. It doesn't come easy for everyone all the time. Even the most experienced artists. But no, really, like, um, I don't just have this vision in my head. Like, I'm not- in my head, when, before I started, I didn't just say, Red Octopus, Top Hat, Black. The utensils are gonna be seashell shaped. The one on the left is going to be a blonde with a side bun, the one on the right is going to be, uh, is going to have her hair up. Like, it doesn't come like that. Like, it's, it's a lot of, oh, let me try this out. Oh yeah, what if I do this? Oh yeah, what if I do this? So like, it's an adventure and you're seeing a process of ideas coming together and really just a series of decisions that I'm making as I go. So as I'm recording, decisions are still being made. I don't want anyone to think that most of us artists just have this complete image in our heads before we start and we just make it happen. Like, that's not how it works. I usually have a good idea of what color I want to use before I even get started. We go on an adventure. What you're seeing is the destination. I thought the tablecloth needed something else. So I had actually already planned this from the very beginning to dot the tablecloth with uh, the Posica pen to kind of give it an elegant lacy look. And there's a few things I wish I did differently about it, but I still think it does make it look a lot more expensive. So happy with that choice, the execution, ah well, it still looks okay, right? Well, I'm pretty sure that this video is coming close to an end. I hope you liked watching it. I hope you like. I hope you learned. <laughs> I hope you learned something about me or art in general that you didn't know before. I'm really happy with how this turned out, and I would love to do like a similar one sometime in the future, like a series of mermaids with these different personalities. Is something right up my alley. To my lovely customers that purchased this, this is a message to you. Thank you so much for thinking of me. You knew that this was gonna be right up my alley, and it sure was. My customers did end up framing this, and it looked really pretty the way they did that, and it just means so much to me. That's that. This has been Bibsy's Tea Party. Mm. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you love mermaids just as much as I do, which I seriously doubt, prove it with your likes down below. For real, I appreciate you more than you know, so thanks for being part of my Zulzy Draws family. If you made it this far in the video, let's get together for tea sometime, shall we? And if that's all, we're golden. Bye. Right.